It's Monday, September 10th, 2012, and uh, so it's been about 24 hours that I've been home alone, and um, I'm going to try, I don't have anything to do specifically until Saturday where I got to go do a video shoot. Uh, um, so I'm going to try and stay home and not go anywhere until Saturday. Uh, so, we'll see. I'm going to try and make do with all the food I got here. And just like try not even start my car if I can. And, um, and then on Saturday I'll go, you know, I'll go into town and get supplies. And so I'm barbecuing here. By the way, I'm an expert barbecuer. Hey! Look at Golly guarding their food. Oh! Stop! That's my Monday dinner. Right there. Boiled tomatoes, fresh tomatoes from the garden, some rice, and three pieces of chicken, two legs and a thigh. What do you got to say? Ah, oh, damn. Go on, get. One of my commenters asked me to talk about the origins of my YouTube channel. Okay, so the origins start with my father, who was a photographer and who felt compelled to document his family um, and you know it's recent it's it's recently proven valuable because some of his descendants didn't have any clue about any of the family and I showed him and it was powerful for them I've always felt compelled to document my life when I started keeping a journal when I was 19 because I was living this life and I was like wow this is too mind-blowing and no one's going to believe it. I ha I need proof. I need, you know, I need to document this because if I don't, then you couldn't make up this. And if you did, no one would believe it. So, so then, you know, I, I always took pictures. The first time I saw myself on video was like um, probably 87, 88. And I said, whoa that's cool I want to do that right away and and I I thought up a way to make it happen I um, I took out a credit card for a thousand dollars and I bought a, a really nice video camera and uh, editing VCR and uh, like a microphone and a light a video light and I put an ad in the local paper saying that I would videotape your event for free and um, and then I would charge like 20 bucks a copy. And I did a lot of things. I, you know, I did parties. I did uh, the Destruction Derby. I did school plays. I did all kinds of stuff. And, you know, I wasn't getting rich, but it paid for the equipment. And it paid for me to, you know, keep buying equipment and upgrading my equipment. That's all I really wanted anyway. So, you know, I was honing my skills. And, you know, I was getting, I was learning how to edit. Um... You know, uh, in the old the old um, analog edit, you know, from you had a copy from VCR to VCR, and I had a sound mixer, and I could mix in music and stuff. You know, I was just learning how to do that. And then when the switch came to digital, I was driving truck at the time, and I had a hard time going from analog to digital because I didn't know how to get the analog signal into my computer. And um, so, you know, finally I got a digital video camera and that shot video and that's what I shot the double rainbow video with it was a Sony just like I have now and whoa that's trippy this is like a really bright cloud picking up over the sky right there and it's just really bright and, and orange so there's some clouds out there that are just doing something trippy so 
I set up that camera to catch it. It's like one cloud. It's just acting really... So getting back to the origins of my YouTube channel. Yeah, so I did video jobs to to um, promote my my artistic endeavors, my artistic inclinations, which was to make videos. And, um, you know, I always had a lot of cameras. So doing the video jobs increased my skill. You know, I was practice at it. You know, I did a lot of jobs. And, and I recorded anything. I recorded everything, I, you know, um, with with film it was a little different, or videotape it was different because, you know, digital is free. But after I bought this uh, digital video camera in 2004 when I stopped driving truck and um, was mostly shooting pictures and a little bit of video because I didn't know how to do any editing so it was like one shot. And, um, but, you know, I figured out how to get on YouTube and... Um, I had like 200 videos already when I shot the Double Rainbow video. So, you know, I was doing it. I hadn't been doing it for years. In 2004, I stopped driving truck and I was gonna, I was like, okay, I'm gonna shoot videos for a living or, and, um, you know, do weddings and stuff like that. <laughs> I never really did any weddings. Sure didn't make any money at it. But, um, um, you know, Here's the thing, I, uh, my place was paid for, and my kids were raised, and, you know, my cars were paid. I'm just living here on the side of this mountain, and don't have no mortgage or no rent, and I get to do whatever I want, you know. Um, you know, well, I got into cage where I didn't lose weight, and I was doing videos, and I used... Uh, the videos to pay for the cage fighting. I traded my services. I traded my video and photography skills to for cage fighting uh, training. And um, so yeah, there's the ba the origins of my YouTube channel was like with my father as a photographer and then me shooting videos in the 80s way before way to YouTube and and just loving it and you know being good at it and doing everything I could, you know, uh, to do it, you know, uh, even like making my own business. And uh, it was called Yosemite, what was it called? Yosemite Digital Photo, Yosemite Digital Photo. Yeah, and that's my smug mug name still. Yeah, Yosemite Digital Photo and Video Services. And I had a business card and it had a camera and a video, ca and a video camera on it. And, um, you know, I, I never made that much money, but I made enough to where I could justify having the equipment and, you know, then I got to use it for free. And, uh, you know, I wish I could put that stuff on YouTube. It was, some of it was pretty good. I mean, my friends would come over and they would watch, they would watch, we'd watch my videos, you know, we'd sit down and smoke pot and, and watch my videos. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, okay. Oh, so here's another thing that's, that's connected to it. So I said it in a couple other videos and it's like a, an idea I've had recently that, okay, I was, a uh, I was a spirit before this body, and th my spirit resides in this body, and when this body dies, my spirit will uh, continue, and I believe that I'm going to be able to access my YouTube videos after this body dies, <laughs> so I want to make as many as I can right now and say, look what I did when I had a body, <laughs> wasn't that fun, <laughs> and that's how I talk now, I... Um, I talk in videos, and you know, like people send me stuff on on YouTube. I answer with a video. You know, I don't really say any words. I just send the video, 